Hey folks, this is video 24. And the title is Brewery Boys. The Brewery Boys. Lou reminded me of an escapade we had one night that started while we were patrolling the far end of Windy Valley. The time was late and we were headed back out towards Route 87. There was a loud blast that sounded like it came from around the Windy Valley Inn. As we approached the inn, a Jeep CJ with a ragtop came zooming out from around the inn and right out into the road. We pursued with red light activated. The Jeep did not stop until it got to the Forkston Bridge. They turned right and went into town. They finally stopped in front of the Forkston store. We could see two people in the Jeep. Lou and I took positions at each back corner of the Jeep. I ordered the driver to step out. There was no movement in the Jeep. I again ordered the driver to step out. Again, neither of the occupants moved. Lou racked the slide on his good old 12-gauge pump. There's something about that sound that always brings a reaction. The two heads looked at each other. I reached forward and flicked open the driver's door and ordered the driver to step out. He did. He was about 12 or 13. So was his friend. They had been drinking beer and smelled like a brewery. The driver said he wasn't drinking. I asked him if his friend dumped it on him. He answered, yeah. <laughs> of course they had no ID and no driver's license. The compound thing is the Game Commission radio system was down. If the boys were caught attempting to take a deer, etc., we could have addressed the drinking through the game law. At the time, we weren't authorized to address things like DUI. At least not to make an arrest. We could have had Dallas contact the Tunkhannock State Police for assistance if the radio was working. We could testify as witnesses at a hearing. After a few minutes, another vehicle pulled up. It was the older brother of one of the boys. We turned him over to the brother to take them home. I don't think the boys tried anything like that again. When I was questioning the driver, I remember he was wearing corduroy pants that were rather baggy. His knees were knocking so much, I thought maybe his pants would catch fire. The noise that drew our attention apparently was a cherry bomb. The boys had no firearms or anything. Just out being smart. This concludes the story of the Brewery Boys. All the best, everyone.